Hi there, my name is Nicole Young and in this video I'm going to show you how I create the liquid that I use for my water drop photographs. The ingredients I use are water, xanthan gum, food coloring, and cream. Now I like to use half and half, it's just something I always have in my refrigerator, I use it for my coffee. But the reason I like to use cream is because it adds a nice kind of opacity to the water drops. And there's also a little bit of texture and kind of swirl as you can see in this photograph. Now just as a side note, what's happening here in this photo and with pretty much all of the water drop images I create is that the water that the liquid is dropping into is actually just plain tap water. It looks like it has color added to it. That's just a reflection from the backdrop. So the only thing I actually use uh, this kind of recipe for is the water that's actually falling into the bowl and that's creating that splash up. So the water that's in the bowl is just plain tap water. If you were to use a water with no additive or no thickener, such as xanthan gum, then you'll still be able to get some good photos. But one thing you'll notice is that you get a lot more splashes and kind of a messier look to the overall image. You can see some of the splashes are really kind of flying off of this uh, you know, water drop pretty quickly. They're kind of blurred. In this example, I only have water, cream, and some food coloring. So I did not add any xanthan gum to this specific photo. When you add xanthan gum to your liquid, you're going to get a much cleaner look with fewer splashes, like the bad kind of splashes, those little water droplets that are flying everywhere. You're also going to get more consistency with your splashes. Now here are those two images side by side. They are photographed at the exact same settings. The only thing that was changed is the liquid in the tube. So I, I finished out the images on the left and I drained the tube and I put the new liquid in with the xanthan gum and I got the image on the right. What I like to do is I like to create a liquid concentrate with only water and xanthan gum so I can just add it to my mixtures whenever I need to. I start out with one cup of warm tap water. The warm water will help to dissolve the xanthan gum powder. Next, I add one half teaspoon of xanthan gum. I'm just sprinkling it here to kind of help it dissolve better. You don't want to dump it all in at once or it kind of creates a big clump. Now, by the way, xanthan gum is pretty easy to find. You can find it at the grocery store or you can buy it online. Next, I mix up the mixture and just kind of get it as mixed up as possible. You can see there are a lot of little chunks in there. Sometimes I also like to kind of shake the jar that I have it in to kind of integrate it a little bit better. And then I just let it sit overnight. Now this is that container the next day. It kind of has congealed into almost a jelly. Next, I'm going to create the liquid I use for the water drops in my photographs. Now I don't really use specific measurements for this. I just kind of eyeball it. But I'm gonna start here with a cup of water and to that, I will add some cream. Again, I use half and half. Next, I add the food coloring and I like to use gel food coloring. And this is kind of a bright neon purple that I added to this mixture. Then I add some of the concentrate that I created with the xanthan gum. I just keep adding it and mixing it until I find that I have a good consistency. And this is a photo that I created with that mixture. Now I can keep using that pre-made concentrate with the water and xanthan gum for future water drop photographs. Be sure to catch my session at this year's Out of Chicago virtual conference, where I'll be discussing my gear and setup for my water drop photographs.